Welcome back. In the midst of summer sports and summer holidays, don't forget to prioritize your chil children's health. Dr. Kanara R., a pediatrician with OSF Healthcare, is here to talk about back to school physicals. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. I can't believe Thank we're you. talking about back to school I know. <laughs> already. It seems like the summer just started, yeah. but can you tell us the importance of physicals ahead of the season? Sure. Um, school physicals really give us a chance every year to check in with our patients. We discuss things like sleep, growth, healthy habits, and more. Um, and that's really why we want you guys to come in every year. So what are doctors looking for specifically? Mm -hmm. So in terms of what we're looking for, we want to make sure that there are no um, physical conditions, medical conditions, or cognitive concerns that could impact a child's um, normal progression through that school year. It's also a good time for us to check to make sure all vaccinations are up to date and um, to see if there are any medication uh, dose changes or refills that need to be done before the school starts. And is there a difference? Well, I know there is, but can you <laughs> name kind of the difference between a sports physical and a general sure. physical. When someone comes in for a sports physical, we do um, a normal physical, but then there's an, a couple things that we do in addition to that. So uh, we're looking for any risk factors in the person themselves or in their family that could cause them to be um, having any heart conditions that tend to flare up during exercise or activity. Um, we also do a couple extra physical exam maneuvers that test overall physical and musculoskeletal health. Um, and usually we can combine the two into the same visit. That makes sense. So what's the best time frame for parents to you know, look to mm -hmm. get these appointments made? I think for most school-aged children, any time during the summer is going to be good. Mm -hmm. um, the earlier, the better. Um, the two to three weeks, probably before schools actually start, tends to be very busy in the offices. So trying to get in ahead of that would be good. Absolutely. <laughs> so if something is concerning mm -hmm. that's found in the process of doing a physical, what's the next step? from there. Sure. It really would depend on what we find. For example, if one of those questions that we ask to see if you have risk for those heart conditions is found, oftentimes we can do an EKG right in the clinic. Um, but for other things, we may need to have you come back. We may need to refer you to a specialist. And it, depending on what we find, we may not be able to clear you for sports right away. So another reason why getting in earlier is probably better. And what's some advice that you have for parents over the summer, um, just keeping their kids' health and check. Um, we talk a lot about sun, sun safety and water safety during the summer. Um, making sure that we are getting our vaccinations up to date is also great too. Um, and really just trying to make sure that everything is good before the school year starts. That makes sense. Where yes. can parents find additional resources sure. and opportunities to schedule those physicals? Yes. Um, I think calling the clinic is probably ideal, especially mm -hmm. if you're a new patient to that clinic, you haven't been there before, but um, searching online for OSF school physicals will take you right to a page that does have more information on what school physicals are, what they entail, and how to schedule that visit. And what's the earliest age you would say uh, you can get a physical for school? For um, school, we really start them when they're really young. So yeah. we get daycare physicals too before mm -hmm. they start daycare. And then really from there, we expect after like the age of three or four for a child to get one every year. But I think there are a couple of grade years where they really do look for that before you enter the school year to check for vaccinations and to check that you have a school physical. Um, and one of those is like the 11 year visit tends to be very important for that. Yeah. So in college, is it important for even the college age students yeah. to come back and get those checkups yeah. as well? I would say it's important, especially because a lot of the times when you are in college, you are probably traveling a little bit farther away from your hometown. Mm -hmm. And so making sure that you come back in to make sure we go over your medications, make sure we look at your dosages, make sure your vaccinations are up to date. There are a few vaccinations that we recommend even for the college age group. Um, so getting all of that checked. Um, and sometimes that's like your only time to check in with a physician that year. So making sure to do that is a good idea. That is a good idea indeed. <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you. We'll have more information Thanks. and this interview on our website. Thank you.